Hey Paul. Hey Matt. Happy happy Halloween. Halloween Halloween. Happy happy Halloween. Silver Shamrock. Uh, so we watched Halloween, Halloween three, season of the witch. Halloween season three, as Paul just called it. Halloween season three. <laughs> it wasn't bad. Um, I, I I liked it. Yeah. Um, I actually liked it more than the first Halloween movie. Nah, I wouldn't go that far. Okay. Um, it has nothing to do with the other two movies. Let me explain here, because after... John Carpenter hates sequels, even though he made Escape from L.A. Halloween 2 was better than Escape from L.A. He hates sequels, so he wanted after Halloween 2 for it to just be an anthology series of just, like, new horror movies every year based around Halloween. But 2 was already about Michael Myers. And people like Michael for some reason. <laughs> He's such a good character. He's been such a good boy this year. Um, which is why... First off, they didn't make another Halloween for five more years after this. Really? And when they finally did, everything was of Michael Myers. It's like the return of Michael Myers, the curse um, of Michael Myers, and... Yeah. Oh, I can't remember what the sixth one's called. But it's something of Michael Myers. Um... But this is the only one to have nothing to do with the Halloween series. Well, there was a commercial for Halloween. What? Like, oh, they were yeah, in the barn. Right. Yeah, so the Halloween one appears in the background at some point in this movie, and it's like a commercial for Halloween. So it's a fictional story inside of the universe of the fictional story. Yeah. All right. So the plot. I guess we should go over the plot. Yeah, it's like a... This mask maker is making masks that will kill children on Halloween. Mm -hmm. and they've got this uh, advertising it's... campaign to rival Illumination Entertainment. <laughs> it's like every time a character turns on the television, it's the Silver Shamrock commercial. Yeah. Which, <laughs> that was kind of weird symbolism for a Halloween movie. It's no, I think, I think it's kind of fitting. Very reminiscent of, like, the Leprechaun movies. Is it? I, Which I don't I think came out to like the nineties, but yeah, you're right. um, they they use the power of the rocks from Stonehenge or some bullshit like that mixed with yeah. Celtic magic and computer chips. Yeah, it gets a little bit convoluted there. That, that's why I wouldn't call this better than Halloween. <laughs> oh, because the the first Halloween just had a really simple plot of a guy with a machete and a girl. There's a knife. And he choked, I think, all but one of them to death. He's <laughs> <laughs> like the one guy he stabs. Well, I mean, yeah, Michael doesn't really need a reason to kill people, though. I think that's no. the point of them. They had a they had a straight up Bond villain in this movie. The mask yeah. maker is totally a Bond villain. And in like the big science warehouse. And he has the whole scene where he's like actually explaining what his plot was and. No, it, you didn't need that that character for this movie. Yeah, no. It there's I have problems with it. I think overall it's a pretty good horror movie, honestly. But there's there's some problems. Yeah, I um. The, yeah, you just didn't need that kind of villain in this movie. I think yeah. you know even you know maybe to improve it, I wouldn't have even shown the villain. Like maybe show his face. Just don't have him talk. Dr. Claude. Yeah. Just have him, like, in the, the shadowy chair, petting a cat. Just like, ha ha ha, next time, Michael Myers. Like, most of the climax was, like, an action movie climax. Yeah. And then it goes back to, like, oh, the twist ending, and then it ends off kind of disappointing. Yeah, I don't know how to feel about that, because it's like... So so it turns out um, he he gets back he destroys the factory the villain's dead oh shit spoilers uh, should we spoil this was we've said already that there are gonna be spoilers in these videos oh okay <laughs> well okay so all that shit happens and then he gets back to a gas station and calls the police or something he gets uh, so there's three channels back in the day. 
he gets two of the channels taken offline, and he's, he's like yelling at the operator to take down the third one, and then it cuts right before um, right before the movie ends. Yeah. It, you are so unprofessional right there. <laughs> I, I can't believe you. <laughs> Sorry. Such a piece of shit. My family's out of town. They're texting me. Um, yeah, so... He, yeah, it's, it kind of ends ambiguously, and it's like, I don't know how you would have ended it better, but that just... That just wasn't a satisfying ending. Well, I mean, in my opinion, I think you've got two other... Op- you've got three total options. The one that they took, where it's just a cliffhanger. The second one would be... Um, where he does get the the third channel to go off, and then nobody dies. Which doesn't... I mean, you, you're giving it a happy ending in a horror movie? I mean, there are horror movies with happy endings that are still, like, decent horror movies. Yeah, I don't know about this one, though. Because I, I don't know if that one would have worked any better than the one that we got. Yeah. And then there's the one where it doesn't happen, and then, like, I guess one third of the children die. Yeah. That'd be kind of fucked. Yeah. I mean, it wouldn't be. I don't know. Maybe that wouldn't have been a bad ending. Killing children. <laughs> yeah, fuck children. Yeah. Just Old rats. Up. Yeah, but then all we'd be left with, like, I, I made the joke, I'm like, the only people who'll be left alive are Mormons and people whose parents are too cheap to buy them the masks. And those feel like the first people you should kill. Matt. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Can't say that. You're on YouTube, man. I'm, I'm joking. You're going to get blocked for being over insensitive or something. Again with the texts. It's the same text. Matt. <laughs> um... Yeah, I I liked it. But I mean, there was a lot of good uh, show don't tell in the movie. Like the way that we find out that he's divorced and he has kids with his divorced wife is that he just goes to their house. He a lot of times in bad movies you'll have a scene ex- where the character explains what they're gonna do and then they go do it. You know, just to sort of pad out the runtime. But no, he just goes there and he does it, and you find out through context clues that he's divorced and that's no longer his wife. That's good. That's good storytelling right there. Chris, then he hooks up with, like, this really young chick. Yeah, we found out in real life he's, like, 20 years older than her. Yeah. And then after they bone, he <laughs> asks her if she's legal. <laughs> yeah! Yeah. Like, he says in the movie, he's like, wait, how old are you? After sex. Like, you ask that before, my friend. Yeah, it's going. Yeah. It's going on some watch lists. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Anyways, Halloween three. That's why he did. He, he had to save the children so he could have a girlfriend. Fuck you. <laughs> Anyways, Halloween three. Halloween three. It was pretty S- decent. Season three. Go see it. Happy Halloween.